Hello everyone, welcome to this course on web resources. My name is Nikhil Rajendran and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. So what are the course contents? We'll be co uh, covering what are the types of web resources, navigation to the web resources section in Dynamics CRM, how to write a web resource, deploy and test it. Alright, so what is a web resource? So if you want to extend the CRM functionality and if you've written some code in the backend using C Sharp, then you know that they are called plugins. Similarly, if you're trying to extend the functionalities of the CRM in the client side, you write a thing called web resource. Okay? Web resources are basically virtual web files that are stored in CRM database and they are used to implement web page functionalities in CRM. Let's take a look at some of the uses of a web resource. So what are the uses of web resource? So if your CRM organization is being used by users in the United States and users in the, um, in the Asian region, that is say India. Okay. Now, uh, in general, the phone numbers in the United States are written in the format of three digits, three digits, followed by four digits. In India, it is generally written like five digits, followed by a space, followed by another five digits. Okay. Now, if you're creating an account record or any any record for uh, for that matter, right? And if you need to enter the phone number for that particular record, what you can do is you can write some JavaScript web resource, which based out of the country which has been entered, you can correct the phone number to be written in either this format or this format. Okay. Now this functionality is not uh, offered by uh, the inbuilt CRM functionalities like business rules, workflows, etc. So we need to extend the client side functionality by writing a JavaScript web resource. So that is a typical example of how a JavaScript web resource is used for form validations. Similarly, we can use it to format the pages in a certain format. So in general, a CRM form is divided into sections and tabs. Now if we want it to be displayed in a completely new format, we need to write HTML web resources. So when you're adding some custom buttons, then you can use image web resources to add a custom image to the button. So typically, when you have a form, you have some certain default buttons like save, save and close, new, etc. Now, if you want to add your own custom button, which has its own custom functionality, it would be nice to have a certain image to that particular button. If not, it will not look nice. Okay. So in those kind of scenarios, you can use an image web resource to add an image to that button. In the next video, we'll look at how to navigate to web resources.